Hi, I'm Sherry Stump. Thank you for joining me today. I'm reading from the devotional book, God's Amazing Grace by Ellen White. Today's reading is April 30, found on page 128. The title of today's devotion is A Completed Work. In Zechariah chapter 4 and verse 7, it says, He shall bring forth the headstone thereof with shoutings, crying, Grace, grace unto it. Human power did not establish the work of God, neither can human power destroy it. To those who carry forward His work in face of difficulty and opposition, God will give the constant guidance and guardianship of His holy angels. His work on earth will never cease. The building of His spiritual temple will be carried forward until it shall stand complete, and the headstone shall be brought forth with shoutings, Grace, grace unto it. Christ has given to the church a sacred charge. Every member should be a channel through which God can communicate to the world the treasures of His grace, the unsearchable riches of Christ. There is nothing that the Savior desires so much as agents who will represent to the world His Spirit and His character. There is nothing that the world needs so much as the manifestation through humanity of the Savior's love. The Church is God's agency for the proclamation of truth empowered by Him to do a special work, and if she is loyal to Him, obedient to all His commandments, there will dwell within her the excellency of divine grace. If she will be true to her allegiance, if she will honor the Lord God of Israel, there is no power that can stand against her. Christ desires by the fullness of His power, so to strengthen His people that through them the whole world shall be encircled with an atmosphere of grace. When His people shall make a wholehearted surrender of themselves to God, this purpose will be accomplished. Christ will abide in humanity, and humanity will abide in Christ. In all the work will appear not the character of finite man, but the character of the infinite God. The goodly fabric of character wrought out through divine power will receive light and glory from heaven and will stand before the world as a witness pointing to the throne of the living God. Then the work will move forward with solidity and redoubled strength. Thank you for being with me today. Please join me tomorrow when we'll begin the month of May with the month theme titled The Covenant of Grace. And may God bless you abundantly above all you can ask or think. <music>